Uh, so we're still in 1998. I think we're going to be in 1998 for a hot minute. It was. Oh, a, geez. Okay. Um, <laughs> you started in a short film that has such an interesting premise. And I, uh, when I was reading about it and the behind the scenes is equally as intriguing. So I don't want to spoil anything um, for people that have not seen this because I'm hoping that people are going to go watch it when they see this. And I'm going to put the uh, link to the Vimeo in the uh, description of this, but um, it's essentially begin the, the, sh the short film begins with a school receiving a VHS tape from the future recorded by one of their current students an adult in the video. Um, the recording warns them about an imminent school bus accident that will cause the death of 50 students. It's called Bobby loves mangoes. You play the man on the tape um Stuart Archer the director managed to get Bobby Love Mangoes uh, his first film um out the gates into the hands of Roger Ebert Tom Cruise uh, among others uh he's working on some great stuff to this day so it's awesome to see someone shoot for the stars and actually land on the stars can you talk a little bit about that project again without spoiling anything for people that haven't seen it uh but really ma mainly aside from the premise of the movie what it was like working on something that was so truly independent like that uh you know i independent film and you were just saying uh durden that you um you know you've made some films and and uh i don't know if you've ever seen the film living in oblivion uh None. oh my god you guys have to see that and it, it's a really great film made by a guy named Tom DeSillo, who has a great website called Drunken Film School. Uh, Tom, <laughs> is, Tom is an amazing filmmaker. His stuff is terrific, really terrific. And you will see in his movies people that have become very famous. Uh, but Living in Oblivion is a fabulous film about making an indie. And um, it, I, I actually very fortunately ran into Steve Buscemi one time after I had just screened that film for some students. And I said to him, oh man, I said, it's so funny. I, I, I've been staring at you for like a day because uh, I screened this film and we talk about it a lot called Living in Oblivion. And he goes, oh my God, it's one of my favorite movies that I've ever done. And it really is terrific. And I think you guys would love it. So anyway, Definitely check it out. Love uh, Steve Buscemi. Yeah. So the whole thing of the indie thing, I had just done a, an indie called Next Stop Wonderland that went to Sundance. And so I'd gone to Sundance and on the plane back, this kid like looked like a high school kid comes up to my seat and starts talking to me like giving me a script and I'd love you to look at this and uh, I'm a filmmaker and I, uh, you know, uh, would you be interested in, um, you know, uh, a part in it and, and stuff like that. And I'm like, Oh God, well, cool. I guess this is what comes from doing a film at Sunday and suddenly everybody's giving you a script or whatever. I thought this is kind of cool. I'm riding this high. So I take it and I read the script and it was really interesting. And I was like, very cool. The concept is very cool. And um, you guys just articulated it well. It's, it's like this weird sort of back to the future weird thing that's going on. But anyway, um, I agreed to do it. Uh, Stuart was very innovative, uh, very driven, um, you know, really wanted to make a great movie. And, you know, I, I'm not totally crazy about this analogy um, just because it's sort of aggressive, but I took a film course once with a very good director, uh, film director who said go, making a movie is like going to war um, because you don't want to send anybody into the trenches for something they don't believe in because you're giving up your life and you're mm -hmm. going to need a lot of resources. You're going to need a lot of people around you and you want everybody to be committed. Uh, what was very cool about Stuart is he has that drive that, you know, he's gonna get that movie made come hell or high water. And he's got his idea that he believes in. And I think that more than the money, more than anything, if you're gonna make independent movies, you gotta have that. And you gotta get everybody on board with you. And that was Stuart's uh, forte. 
And he did great. The movie, I think, is very cool for, for how old he was when he made it. I think it's mm-hmm. excellent. It's excellent. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's produced well. I mean, and it's, it's the perfect premise to reel you in on this, like, fantastical story and how it ends just, it, it's, it, it, it pays off. Mm-hmm.